Hans Wormhat is somewhat of a legend on this channel, and not in a good way. He's worked his way through so many conspiracies that you would have thought by now he'd have run out of ideas. Nope. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tin Four Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a quick thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Opinion Outpost. Opinion Outpost is something that I have found is an easy way to make a little bit of extra money. You can get paid for just sharing your opinion, making money whilst watching Netflix, up at night when you can't sleep, waiting for your friends, literally anywhere. Wouldn't it be nice to have that little bit of extra cash for the holidays though? Personally, it'd be very useful as it's super easy to cash out using PayPal or an Amazon gift card. That's what I did, helping me get a few extra stocking fillers for the wife. Click on the link in the description to start making money today. Right, back to today's video, and yes, it's Hans Wormhat who is back again. The man who busts open mainstream way of thinking, given us such classics as Why Satan Fakes Animals? Does Trump Watch My Channel? And top 10 fake animals. There really is nothing that Hans won't touch. And he recently cast his eye over some news from the Netherlands, where a derailed train was quite incredibly saved from falling into the water 30 feet below by the tail of a whale sculpture. With his most treasured hoax hat on, Hans went over the story on video. Today is Wednesday, November 4th, 2020. And I'm just looking at this article in the news just because it's so over the top and it's good just to have some examples like this that you can pull out and see look everything on the tv is fake never mind all the witnesses and the photographer because it's on tv it's fake great logic there hans so what they do real life just isn't that interesting just not that much crazy stuff happens so these people they love street theater and they put on these big productions and then they put it on the TV and then that makes it real. They love to write history. And one way that you write history, well, it's through the present, right? You need to, if you're going to write history, one way that they do that is they fabricate some event today and then 10 years from now, they have created false history in that way. Sorry, did Hans just say that the whole thing was street theater? Wow. They love to just put on productions, put on a bunch of costumes, just think of how ridiculous war generals look with a million little buttons on their thing. Do you really think that they do that much stuff? It's just all a play. It's all a production. This whole world is fake. Not content with having a swipe at this potential disaster, Hans is now claiming that the entire world is fake. Quite incredible. And especially everything on the TV is fake. And, or in the news. Here we go. In fluke accident, sculpture of whale tails saves train from 33-foot plunge. And they love puns, they love childish puns, especially nasty ones. But here we just have, you know, the fluke of a whale. In fluke accident, sculpture of whale tail. And there's another pun right there because tail, you can think of as T-A-L-E, like a story that somebody's telling you. A whale tail might be a really big fib story that somebody's telling you. I wondered when you bring this up, quite ironic, isn't it? But they haven't spelt it in the way that you're saying, so the pun isn't really there. And 33, very obvious, front and center. They love these friendly, I, I think more so with ones like this, fun, what they might think is like fun, exciting video. Nobody got hurt. It's extraordinary. They want you to think it's a miracle. I think that's why they're fine just coming front and center with the 33. I still don't get the 33 thing. I see it all the time. I see comments on my channel saying Simon Dan equals 33. So? And you can't get more obvious than that. But it, it keeps going. I'm just going to read through this. You'll see. What I want to show in this video is just they play the same tricks over and over. They write the articles in certain ways, trying to, and they're mocking a lot of times, and they're having a big laugh about how this is fake, but people will believe anything. And they love having a laugh about it. So there's going to be a million coincidences in these stories. And the thing is, is that they've programmed people to believe that things can happen with all sorts of coincidences. And they think nothing of it because the TV told them it's true. But things can happen with coincidences. It's a way of life. I don't think any of us can sit here and truly say that we've never experienced a coincidence. 
Aptly named Saved by the Whale's Tail, the art installation prevented a potential deadly accident in the Netherlands. So the art installation that's involved with this is called Saved by the Whale's Tail. What a coincidence. Look at that. It looks straight out of a movie because it is. They just pretend it's real, do it in real life. And I don't know how they got it up there. This reminds me of the Miracle on the Hudson. I don't believe that that's a real event at all. It's staged with a bunch of actors, and that plane was already floating on the water. They removed the curtain and said action. I don't know exactly how they hide all this stuff all the time, but they do, and this is another staged event. I think I know how they hid this one. It's because they did it at a very... just a time when nobody's out. Why? What is the point in staging all of these things? Especially the miracle on the Hudson. Did you not see the movie, Hans? Obviously true. 1230, which is a 33 reference, a more subtle. So that's the thing. They don't always come in with a 33 blazing right as the first number, but in some cases they do. And this is a case where they do, but they also have more 33s hidden in this. So 1230 AM is when it happened. So they could have pulled something like this off. I don't know, covered, made sure the area was clear and get it done. I don't know, but 1230 AM, it's a 33 because 12, one plus two is three. So three, three. Wow, that was tenuous, wasn't it? <clears throat> Earlier yesterday, a Dutch train and its operator narrowly avoided an accident after plowing through the barrier at the end of the metro's elevated rails. Luckily, instead of plunging 33 feet and crashing into the ground below, the car landed precariously on an enormous sculpture of whale tails that flanks the end of the tracks. Quite the story. It's like a scene... So here... In this video, I'm just pointing out, I mean, if you've seen enough of my videos, you see that I point this out all the time, how you will have people talking about how, oh, it felt like a dream. Oh, it didn't feel real. Oh, I still can't believe that this happened. And this is another one that you see all the time. It's like the scene of a Hollywood movie. They're mocking you. They're telling you the truth. It's not real life. This is just a staged event, a staged Orange 33 event. I wonder if Hans believes in anything. Surely he must do. Thank God the tail was there. Well, thank God the tail was there. <clears throat> and again, there's this idea. They love the idea of puns and synonyms. And the tail represents the tail, T-A-L-E. The fact that this is just a, a whale tale, a fake story. Now retired architect Mart Martin Struijs design the sculpture, which consists of two large whale tails raised about 33 feet. And they like that. That's a duality reference. The fact that there's two whales, you could think of it as like the two pillars of Freemasonry. Or, and stay with me here, you could think of it as just two whale sculptures. Raised about 33 feet above the ground. Coincidentally, so with the coincidences, and they aren't coincidences, they build their stories with these obvious inter their stories are often interconnected and self-referential and yeah built in with so many coincidences because they're fabricated stories random stories random happenings of life don't have a million coincidences because they're just things that happen but their stories are often filled to the brim with coincidences because they enjoy doing that kind of thing and because it's a written story, this is just, it's easy to build in a million coincidences when it's a planned thing. So let me get this straight, Hans. The Dutch government decided to fake a train crash where the train went through a barrier and was saved by a whale's tail sculpture that was called Saved by the Whales. All of that just to mess with us. So the, this event could have been planned when these sculptures were built way long ago. That's another thing that you need to know about their hoaxes is that they're on really long time spans. They'll plan hoaxes 33 years in advance, for instance, like the Twin Towers. Right, so they planned 9-11 two years before they even built the Twin Towers. Come on, Hans. Even you can't believe that one. From construction to the demolition of the Twin Towers, it was 33 years. So they planned things out very, very far in advance. Um, the Twin Towers were built in 1970 and were sadly destroyed in 2001. Clearly, Hans's maths is not his strong point either. It riffs on the idea of a tr tail track. So apparently there's even some sort of uh, pun involved with the whole tail thing, tail track. They really are obsessed with puns. Um, 
Okay, so this is where the, the trains park. See, this is, this is why it would be a really easy thing to pull off. This all happened where the trains park at night. There was nobody in it. There's no witnesses. So this is something that they could have easily pretended that some construction was going on. And then boom, here we got our, our news story. Streege told DUIC that he received a phone call notifying him of the accident while reading the newspaper with his morning cup of coffee. He expressed shock that the sculpture, which is made of reinforced plastic, was able to support the weight of the train car. Oh dear, Hans isn't going to let this one go, is he? It could even be a fake train car. It could be a hollowed out train car that they used just for this event so that they could hoist it in a place really fast. There you go. Always one step ahead, Hans, aren't you? Speaking with Dutch broadcaster... Strige says the image of the damaged Metro balancing on his sculpture resembles, in his eyes, a work of art in itself. So this is one of those things where you can tell that the artist knows what they're doing. They know what they're saying. They're in on the joke. People love talking like this, where if you're asleep and you believe this BS article, you might not, you might just think, oh, this is an artist saying that, oh, it looks like a picture. But he knows this was planned. This was a planned part of the sculpture. That's why it's called Saved by a Whale's Tale or whatever. Anyways, th to me, it's obvious when people know that it's all BS and they speak in a way that that makes it clear that they know it's BS. It's a work of art in itself. He's telling you the truth. Exceptional logic there, Hans. That was sarcasm, by the way. I think I'm done with Hans here. There's only so much of him even I can take. Thank you though, Hans. Your unique insight into the world has once again shown us that the human mind really doesn't have a limit. Thank you all very much for watching today. If you enjoyed it, then please, please do like and subscribe. It'd be thoroughly appreciated. Just enough time to once again thank Opinion Outpost for sponsoring today's video. Remember, click on the link in the description to start earning extra cash today. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow night where I'll be reacting to some comments live. Please do come and check it out. But until then, goodbye. <laughs>